This video is on scientific notation. All right, I'm going to start by showing you a quick little trick when you're multiplying by powers of 10. Um, so first thing, when you're multiplying by 10 or a power of 10, a quick um, little trick is, I'll show you kind of down here, um, you can move the decimal however many zeros are with the 10. So like this is one zero, so the decimal for the four is right after. You can move it to the right one spot and the answer would be 40. Okay, this one has two zeros, so it started as four. I'm gonna move the decimal over twice, it's 400. Okay, and this one, it starts out as four and I'm gonna move the decimal over three spots, one, two, three, it would become 4,000. This one, I would move it over four spots, one, two, three, four, and it would become 40,000. So that's kind of a quick little trick. Now up here, I'm still multiplying by powers of 10. So this first one, it has one zero, it's 10 to the first. So you can actually look at the exponent and move the decimal over one spot. So this actually equals 92.3. All right, the second one, it's to the second power. So you can move the decimal over two spots to the right and you get 923. Okay, the next one, it's to the third power. You can move the decimal over one, two, three spots. I'm gonna have to add a zero there and I get 9,230. Okay, and this last one, I can move it over four spots. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna have to add a couple zeros there and I get 92,300. Okay, so this only works when you're multiplying by powers of 10, which I was doing. 10 to the first, 10 to the second, third, fourth. It only works for powers of 10. And it also makes sense that these numbers kept getting bigger because I was timesing by a bigger number. So each time they kept getting a little bit bigger and bigger because I was timesing by a bigger number. All right, so using the pattern that we just found, could we figure out these problems pretty quickly? Okay, I think you could. So when you have a problem written like this, if this says times 10 to the second, again, there's two zeros in 10 to the second, so I'm gonna move the decimal over two spots to the right, one, two, I end up with 7865.9, so 7865.9. So I did that without a calculator. Let's look at the second one. It says times 10 to the fifth. Well, 10 to the fifth, it's gonna have five zeros, so I'm gonna move it over five spots. So I'm gonna move my decimal over one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna have to put some zeros here. So my new number is three, four, six, three, eight, zero, zero, zero. I can add my commas. 34,638,000. All right, so a couple quick definitions that we're gonna be working with today. Um, the first one is called standard form. Now standard form is a number written in decimal notation. All that means is a number written the normal way. So if I gave you this number, 485, that number is written in standard form. If I gave you 2,486, that number is written in standard form. 5.6, standard form. So just a normal number written the normal way that's called standard form. All right, now today we're going to be working with scientific notation. Okay, scientific notation is a way to write numbers using powers of 10. And you're going to be using this in science next year and math. Um, it's a way to write really big numbers in a shorter way. Okay, when you're writing a number in scientific notation, there's a couple things that must be true. First thing, you must be multiplying by a power of 10. Okay, so like here, you'd have to be timesing by like 10 to the 6th, 10 to the 5th, 10 to the 20th. It has to be a power of 10. Um, the other number that you're multiplying must be greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10. So this number here has to be bigger than 1 or 1 and less than 10. Okay, so just make sure you know that. So this number is written in scientific notation. Now, I also want to point out to you that um, when a number is written in scientific notation, they use All right, let's see if we can write these. Um, in standard form. Right now they're written in scientific notation. We're going to see if we can change them to standard form. So what you do 
is you're going to always look at the power of 10. There's three zeros here. That means I'm going to move my decimal. I'm timesing it. So it means I'm taking this number times 10 to the third, okay, which 10 to the third would be a one with three zeros. So it's a thousand. I'm taking 4.92 times a thousand. So you know your number is going to get bigger. Okay, so what you do is you're going to take the decimal and you're going to move it three spots to the right. One, two, three. Okay, and I end up with 4,920. Now you should always kind of check, does that answer make sense? Well, yeah, it started out as 4.92, a small number. If you times it by 1,000, it should get bigger, and here it did get bigger. Okay, let's take this one, okay? I have that number, it's about 5 times 10 to the 5th. Now, 10 to the 5th is a pretty big number, okay? It's a 1 with 5 zeros, okay? So it's actually 100,000, so you're taking 5.03 times 100,000. Okay, a quick shortcut way to do that is to, um, to write it back in standard form, is to look at the exponent, and I'm going to move it over 5 places to the right. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Now here's my new number, five, zero, zero, three, zero, zero. So 500,300. Okay, that would be my number written in standard form. Okay, here's a quick question for you. Are these numbers written in scientific notation? Okay, so let's kind of look at each one um, separately and see what we think. All right, so this first one, if you look at it, it says 25.6 times 10 to the fourth. Um, this one is not written in scientific notation because if you look at this number here, that is not between 1 and 10. That's bigger than 10. So this one is not in scientific notation. Okay, I want you to push pause, and I want you to see if you can figure out if the next three are. Push play when you're ready to watch it. All right, the next one 5.46 times 100. Now, this one is not written in scientific notation because it's not written as a power of 10. To be in scientific notation, you have to write that as 5.46 times, it should be an x, times 10 squared. It has to be a power of 10 here. So this one is not written in scientific notation. Okay, if we look at the next one, 0.93 times 10 to the 8th, well, I have my times, I have my power of 10, but this number is not between 1 and 10. So this one is not, okay? It has to be between 1 and 10. And this last one, I see I have, um, I have a times. This number is between 1 and 10. The only issue is this is not a power of 10. So it's not written in scientific notation. All right, now we're going to go backwards. We're going to change from standard form, so from a normal number, back to scientific notation. All right, so to change a number back to scientific notation, um, you know that the number has to be between 1 and 10. So basically, I have to get this number to be not this huge long number. It needs to get to a number between 1 and 10. So here's what you do. You're going to take your decimal, put it at the end where it's at. You're going to move it back till you get to a number between 1 and 10. So I'm going to start moving it. If I move it right here, I still have that really big number. So that's not going to work. Okay. Um, now, let me just erase that. If I move it back another one, I still have a big number. You're going to keep moving it till you get to a number between 1 and 10. So you can kind of watch. I'm still going, still going. If I move it right to there, now my number is 3.7. Okay, so that's kind of your first step. It says 3.7, and then there's a bunch of zeros. Now, you don't have to write all those zeros. You can just, you, you just have to write up to as far as there's um, a digit bigger than zero. So 3.7. Okay, then I'm going to write times 10. Okay, now you have to kind of think, well, how would, if from 3.7 to get back to this big number, how many spots would you have to move it? Okay, well, you can go ahead and count. You can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it's times 10 to the 8th. Okay, again, I'll show you again. You can either count from here or from back here. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I moved it eight spots, so it's times 10 to the eighth. So now I just wrote that number in scientific notation. Okay, and if I went backwards again, I could move it eight spots to the right, and I would get back to that number. Okay, let's try the second one. All right, my decimal's here at the end. I need to start moving it till I get to a number between one and 10. So I'm gonna start moving it backwards. Till I get to a number between one and 10. Oh, finally I'm at a number, it's four. So I'm going to write 4 point, I have to write this 008 until I get to a, 
um, only zeros left. So I had 4, 0, 0, 8. Now there's only zeros left. I don't have to write those. So I'm going to write 4.008 times 10 to the, I have to figure out, well, how would I get it back to this, this original number? Well, I'd move it over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It looks like times 10 to the 7th. Okay, so again, just to make sure it works, see how many spots you moved it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I moved it 7 spots. Okay, and that would work if you move this 7 spots over. You'd get back to that number. So I just wrote those in scientific notation. All right, here we have two problems. I want you to try to write them in scientific notation. Um, after you're done, push play to watch the solutions. All right, this first one, again, you need to get your decimal here at the end. Move it over till you get to a number between 1 and 10. Okay, I have 4.5. That's between 1 and 10. Times 10 to the... Now you can just count. How many spaces would you need to move this over? So from here, how many sp spaces would you need to move it over to get back to that number? It would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it's times 10 to the 7th. There's my solution. Okay, the second one, again, you're going to move it over. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, now if I look at that number, 2.3, 0, 5. Now I can finally stop because there's only zeros left. Okay, times 10 to the, I moved it over, it looks, I think, 9 spots. Okay, now if you're not, again, if you're not sure if it works, just think, 9 spots here. If I move it 9 to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, would you get back to that number? Yes, you would. So that number is written in scientific notation. All right, now that you've seen some things about scientific notation, you need to make sure you complete the scientific notation form. You need to make sure you bring notes to class tomorrow. On your notes, please draw a smiley face on the top. Um, and then tomorrow we'll work on scientific notation with negative exponents. All right, see you tomorrow.